Here we go. Australia Yay! Capital Territory. Woo! We made it. Woo! Another territory ticked off the list. So we've decided to tick off another Australian Territory and State and that place is ACT which is the Australian Capital Territory. We've never been there before and it's about a three hour drive from the coast. We've gone through some lovely old towns of Braidwood and Bungendore. And we are just about to cross over to the ACT border. We're nearly there. We're almost there. Here we go. Australian Yay! Capital Territory, woo! We made it! Woo! Another territory ticked off the list. So we've now ticked off nearly every single one of the territories and states in Australia. The only one left we haven't done is the Northern Territory. And after that, we've done them all. So we were driving towards a place called Harden, where we were told there were fields full of canola flowers. And we were driving through this place and we caught a glimpse of these fields. Take a look at this. So they say between the months of August to October is when the canola fields are in bloom. So we are super lucky to be here at this particular time of year. However, in saying that, we don't know when the fields will be harvested. So we're super lucky that we just managed to see some at least. And we're gonna keep driving and I'm sure we're probably gonna see some more. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. That sunset. I was just gonna say. Since this was our first time to Canberra, we wanted to stay in the heart of all the action. Having a camper van doesn't make it that easy. Whilst it's not impossible, we thought we would treat ourselves to a cheeky stay at the Midnight Hotel located in the suburb of Braddon. Off we go. Five oh six, we made it. Oh wow. Well, it smells amazing. Welcome to the Midnight Hotel. Wow. Very pretty. This room is humongous. This is amazing. Loving this decor. This is so nice. This is very pretty. So the best thing sometimes after living van life for such a long time is to check into a hotel and have a little bit of luxury. We are just off of the high street so there seems to be plenty of bars, restaurants, cafes nearby so if you want to go out for a little stroll later it will be the perfect stop. Coffee down. Should we go to the pool? Let's go to the pool. Let's go. So we're currently on the fifth floor, but the pool is located on the first. So we're going to go and check it out. Pool and sauna. Fresh Celebrating a successful day. Day. <laughs> so this is our first time in Canberra, and we thought the best way to immerse ourselves into the food scene is by doing zero research and just walk the streets of Braddock and see what we can find. Because apparently, via messages that we've received on Instagram, it's a massive food scene here, and we've headed to Grease Monkeys, which apparently is the place to be because this place is rammed. We finally got in, we've ordered our meal, and we cannot wait to tuck in. One thing about Bradford in camera is it definitely reminds us of living in London and heading to Shoreditch. We've got a lot of pictures, pretty cool outfits, cool hairdos. It's good. 
So the food has arrived. Alex has already started to dig in. <laughs> it's so good. Mama. It's only two bucks, we can get another one. So in this double deluxe, you've got double beef, double cheese, streaky bacon, GM relish, onion, pickles, and greasy sauce. And I have gone for the Nimbian, which is crumbed mushroom, tomato, onion, lettuce, and sauce, and it is. I would rate this burger a solid 9 out of 10. Grease Monkeys was rather delicious. Dinner out in Canberra was a must for us because we wanted to check out the food scene and we're so glad we did because it was very, very delicious. So today just got even better because we had a knock at the door and they brought up a surprise bottle of champagne. Yes! Looks like a good one as well. Sparkling Chardonnay. Let's open it. You're struggling there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so after scoffing that food down in less than five minutes, we checked out of our hotel and went on the hunt for more fun-filled activities in Canberra. If you are in Canberra, the National Gallery of Australia is a must. We didn't get to shoot too much content inside, but we did spend a good few hours exploring all of the international, Australian and Indigenous art on display. Last on the list was Parliament House. Why? No real reason, just because we can say that we saw it in person. And that is Parliament House. Now it's time to go hunt down some waterfalls. We have made it to Gibraltar Falls. It's only a short 40 minute drive from Canberra City, so pretty easily accessible. And the actual falls is only a short walk from the car park, so. So this falls apparently is uh, the biggest falls in ACT. So yeah, there's a bit of fact for you. And after walking literally like a minute, we're already at the waterfall. Wow, that is a big drop down there. I will say, if you are brave enough, head on to Gibraltar Falls for a quick swim because it literally, literally, um, sorry, I seem to have lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, what, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so come to Gibraltar Falls, it's amazing. So that was actually a lot of fun. We didn't quite go all the way in because it was so cold. I stood in it for about 30 seconds and I couldn't feel my toes. <laughs> all I could hear was my feet. <laughs> but it was still really nice to experience. One thing we will say is make sure if you do come to this area, be safe, don't be silly and have fun. Voice broke there. <laughs> Yay! And all walked away. So we never one bit. We have made it to the National Gallery of Canberra. No? The National <laughs> Gallery of Australia. And there's a particular exhibition that we want to go and see called Within. 
in without, which looks awesome. So, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to find out what it's called? And I can say it. Wow. <laughs> You're right. How you doing? So, it's this way, and there is a path. I said to Alex, like, I'll test the water. Why can't we do anything good?